Hey everyone, I wanted to make a little video here just to show you the online encyclopedia of integer sequences um, and show you kind of some tips about how you might use it for your project. Um, so I'm going to show the triangular numbers so we could uh, just search for them here. You can search either by numbers or you can use the name of it. Um, <clears throat> so definitely the first result that pops up. Um, so there's a lot more, the triangular numbers show up everywhere, and there's a lot more here than there would be for many sequences, but um, I think it's still going to be useful to see some of the things that you can do. So um, you can see that uh, it lists out a whole bunch of triangular numbers, right? And in fact, if you click on list, it'll show you even more. Uh, I think it shows, here it shows the first 53. I think there's there's got to be somewhere a table of more, maybe we'll find it in a minute, but... Um, and notice also, like it defines what they are, and actually the definition here defines them in several ways. So you might think of them as this sum, 0 plus 1 plus 2, but it gives a couple other formulas. So here's kind of the closed form formula that we've seen. Here's something in terms of binomial coefficients. Um, even just like explaining some of these equalities, like why is this, why is this binomial coefficient the same as this sum, um, is interesting, and that could make something interesting that you could write about in your project. Um, or, you know, and I'm not talking just about these triangular numbers, but whatever for whatever sequence you pick, um, there may be something interesting in the way they're defined um, to prove that. So um, there's also, you can look at a graph here. Might be helpful. So in this case, the graph of the, the triangular numbers are obviously a parabola um, because, right, the closed form for them is, in fact, uh, something involving n squared. Um, there's also something where you can listen to it. You can play it as music. It actually doesn't work on my computer, um, but maybe it'll work on yours. You could try it. Um, so it's kind of fun. Um, so let's scroll down and see what else is here. Again, there's like a ton more on here than there are on most sequences, but you can still get a good idea of the kind of things that are here. So first, there's a bunch of comments. Um, some of these comments are probably going to be you know way beyond you. Some of them are beyond me, to be honest. Um, like, for example, this one says, from Harnack's theorem, the number of branches of a non-singular curve of order n is bounded by a n. I don't even know what that means. I'm going to be really honest. Um, so just ignore anything where you don't know what it means. But some of them um, are going to are going to make sense, but usually these comments are made without proof. And um, usually they're the kinds of things where, you know, an experienced mathematician could uh, prove these without too much difficulty. but it's going to be interesting for you to maybe pick a comment here that seems interesting and if you can find a proof or disc or like work out a proof for yourself of why it's true. So for example, it says the number of edges in a complete graph of order n, k of n. Uh, we haven't learned this term, but a complete graph, you could look this up, right, if you googled this. A complete graph is a graph where it has all the possible edges between uh, pairs of vertices. And so apparently that is a triangular number. Why? Right, can you prove that? Um, that would be something interesting to talk about. Um, there's a bunch of things here. So the number of tiles in a set of double n dominoes. Uh, why is something about the number of ways to insert a pair of parentheses in a string of n letters? And there's some examples here, right? Um, there's going to be a bunch of kind of often a bunch of combinatorial things that that would be interesting for you to describe. So let's scroll down and keep going past all the comments. There's a ton. Um, references. So the references section is probably going to be less useful to you because these are all books usually and um, number one I mean it might be hard for you to get the book and number two even if you did it might you know it might be kind of uh, above a level that you could easily understand so um, although you know so here's one so like proofs that really count the art of combinatorial proof so that one actually is a nice book um, and it's definitely accessible, but so you could look through here. It might be hit or miss. Um, but then there's a bunch of links, and you might find some useful things here. And so again, a bunch of these might be stuff that's beyond you, but there's going to be some nice things in here too. Um, you know, for example, here's a couple I've already. You can see I already clicked on here. So like this one is anything from like the Mathematical Gazette or like um, Mathematics Magazine. There's a bunch of stuff here, probably from from magazines that are, are going to be like articles from magazines that are that are often written at a at a level that that undergraduates could you know that it would make sense to you so you could look in there for interesting facts um, there's going to be things you know 
this isn't really a document it's just like a picture and so if we click on this you know it's just a picture that shows a cool pattern where the triangular numbers show up um, so you might find something interesting there um, if you just look through you know ignore the things you don't understand try to pursue the things that look interesting to you there's a bunch of formulas again if any of the formulas make sense you can think about them a lot of them won't make sense um, a few examples there's a bunch of code here usually so here's some Mathematica code here's some uh, you know some Python code here right so that code might be helpful to you to play around with it if you uh, know any programming um, it has a bunch of cross references which are like other sequences that refer to this one that's probably not going to be helpful to you um, so that's basically it um, so have fun looking through there um, part of it is just like exploring stuff following links and seeing if you can find some interesting things and then writing about them um, if you are having trouble picking a good sequence or you're having trouble finding anything interesting about the, the sequence you've chosen um, let me know and I'm happy to help you know I'm happy to ha have a meeting with you and can help you work through some things um, yeah I hope this is a fun project uh, I don't intend for it to be really onerous um, but I look forward to seeing what you all come up with <laughs>